<laughs> God, I, You're a fast shooter. <laughs> I, I just don't ever believe I might get it right on the first go round. Um, we're here in the new like uh, stairway uh, at the, the uh, headquarters, and it's really a cool place. And with me is Yesco. Uh, you're the product manager, and please say your full name, because I know I want to do it justice. <laughs> it's a difficult one, even for German people. It's <laughs> Jesko von Oenhausen. And you're the product manager for the M-Line. Yes, for the M-System. And we're specifically uh, going to discuss uh, the M10, which, as you've seen, I've been using quite a bit of, and I really like it. But there's a story behind the M10. And um, at a certain point a while back, uh, and... Uh, Yes, go tell us about this. There's a decision made to make an M10, and not an M240 or a 242 or a 260. You went back to the, the, the M nomenclature and so forth, but uh, you decided what was going to go into the M10. And I think it's kind of interesting because it's not so much where that went in, but maybe that came out. So tell us a little bit about how this started. Yeah, of course, that's not uh, the case that we started in one day and we immediately did know, oh, was it uh, did know where to go. <laughs> yeah, it was really a process. So uh, maybe I start a little more early because uh, uh, back in 2013 when the M Type 240 came out, it was our most popular um, main product. So we tried to reach as many customers as possible with that camera, so we put in every feature that made somehow sense uh, for a rangefinder camera, uh, and video additionally, and uh, a lot of other things. So we, after th that camera was launched, we were making up our minds, what's next? So to have a new generation of a camera, we need like three or four years to develop from the first idea on. So we initially had to make up our minds, what's next? So in that time, we were thinking, the live view function on the M-Type 240 is very popular and very helpful to get new possibilities for wide-angle lenses and telephoto lenses. So um, we wanted to put features like this into the camera too. So you started with wanting to put a lot of things into it. Yes, right. We wanted to continue with that. But at the same time, we were starting developing a camera like the SL. And we um, figured out that this is also an good opportunity to sharpen our product profiles, to have the camera like the SL for people that do want video and fast uh, cameras. And on the other hand, when we have this kind of camera in our lineup, we can concentrate on what an M camera is really made for. So we also took some surveys uh, with our customers to find out what their desires and needs are. So it figured out that the most popular wish is to have a camera that is thinner and smaller, like an analog camera. So this was by like nine out of 10 people that we were asking, what's your biggest wish? It was that. We readjusted our uh, specifications and our projects to uh, make that happen, to really get the um, the strongest need of our customers to make this thin camera. So you had to work with a lot of engineers um, along the way, and you, but you made some significant other design changes. Yeah, right. A clear result out of these um, customer surveys was that they want less than more functions. Uh, not <laughs> everything that's possible built in, but maybe reduce a little more to what M is made for initially. This is such a bold move when you told me about this, is the fact that you were willing to take things out of uh, the development process, which is almost unheard of, but this is what customers were asking for. Now, mind you, as you said, and let's make sure our viewers understand this, uh, a lot of that was with the consideration that there was an answer and another solution with the SL. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you started taking things away. You took buttons away? Yeah, we took buttons away. We took some functions away. We took plugs away to make it really solid. Tethered shooting um, was possible with the M-Type 240 with an additional hand grip, but uh, it was not the perfect professional tethered shooting solution. So now we have the SL, which makes that in a very professional way. And the camera M10 is now as pure as it was before. <laughs> now, I can only imagine, <laughs> you know, there must have been some interesting meetings where people were going, what, you can't do that? Uh, you know, yes, how, right. how did, you know, somebody had to you know, lead the charge. 
Yeah. So you led the charge, and let me correct you, know, tell mm. me the story, if it's wrong or right, different ways, but you led the charge on behalf of the customer. Behalf Absolutely, of the yes, yeah. Of course, you get a lot of ideas and influences from everywhere because the Leica community is a very yeah. enthusiastic and familiar one, uh, but you get, a, as a product manager, a lot of desires and suggestions where to go and what to put in and what not. So we really focus on custom, professional customer service to get a list and validation of all these ideas to find out which is the right way to go and well, figure out that it was the right way as we my, get feedback from My hat is off to you because I know what that must be like. I applaud it because number one, this camera is like selling so much you can't get it. Uh, so you, you obviously made some right choices. You went back to the customer, which I think is important. You went back to the, the heritage. You know, all the dials you need to operate this camera are right here. I see my ISO, my shutter speed, my f-stop, my focus. Um, you know, I can actually see the the feet. I have you know real firm stop on infinity. I mean, there's so many things that are, are nice about it. But on the back of the camera too, you've decided to really simplify things. Yeah, so right. therefore, while you might take some things away, you also improved on some things in regards to the interface. Yes, right. For example, the delete button. We always had a delete button. We were always believing it's mandatory. But uh, in these customer service, we found out that M customers, they, they don't delete on the camera. They just want to shoot. They want to be ready for shooting. And that's the most important thing. So this was one of these detailed decisions that we could do. OK, it doesn't need a, an old button. And you've kept the traditional plate on the bottom. I mean, that's been on the Leica camera forever. I'm sure yeah, you had right. a choice to change yeah. that also, right? Yeah, yeah we, we questioning is this with every generation again to find out if there's a solution that's so solid as, as this, maybe with the door. But we always get back to that uh, bottom plate um, that, Excellent. that makes it so robust. Well, I think it's an interesting story. And uh, for all of those of you that are doing your own photography or involved in different things, Sometimes you just kind of got to stop and walk away from the forest and see the trees and realize that, huh, maybe we don't have to do all of that. Maybe right. there's a simpler way to do it. And maybe there's a way to actually remember what we're doing and do it you know, for our hearts, our minds, and our yeah. souls, and our photography. And sometimes it's important to experience um, the ideas. Uh, when I think about the ISO dial, we made the M60 without the display. Mm -hmm. So we added this ISO dial on that camera. And while using that camera, we found out that this makes it so much more joyful to have all the photographic parameters under control, under, me under mechanical control. So this is how we came up with the idea of the ISO dial, for example. This was one thing that was not uh, requested by customers by themselves, but we found out uh, that this is a great joy to improve the camera. So yeah, but, but you also kind of put a, a, a dial or a knob here where there used to be one on, you know, as a film rewind lever. Yeah. So it was kind of clever. So, uh, yeah, it's some really cool things. Now, for those of you that just want to make sure you understand, you can get an add on electronic viewfinder so you have electronic viewfinder capability yeah. uh, with the camera. So this really is a photographer's camera. Simple, easy. I want to say, nice job. Thank you. It's a great story. I appreciate you sharing it with us. And uh, remember, you know, sometimes we've just got to not put all the buttons on there and be worried about all the dials and knobs and all the things. But remember what it is that makes our photography. And you did that here. And obviously, you must have taken a a beating here and there, <laughs> a few things along the way, but you know, my, my hat's off to you for Thank making you the proper that. decisions and making it go that way. So we'll come back on another segment soon. I'll see you on the Luminous Landscape.